Hello everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. Today we're going to be looking at a Chapin backpack sprayer. Uh, this is something that we, we use a lot uh, in my work and I can tell you uh, pretty good experiences with this, uh, good and bad, um, but I just have some experiences that I can share. Uh, first off, uh, we have purchased in the last year and two months, this is our eighth one. Uh, one of them we sent back right away because of poor packaging. Uh, the box was expanded and it looked like it was coming out. It looks like someone took it out, put it back in, couldn't get it all the way back in. And when we put it together, it was leaking. So we, we returned it right off. Um, this box is also kind of bulging, kind of torn up. Um, it was inside another box. It's uh, dented in right here. So it's something to look at. Uh, they're starting to come a little bit uh, beat up. Uh, this one is, is sealed and we're going to open it up together. Uh, we're going to put it together. I'm going to tell you what I know about these, the good and the bad. Um, I know when I say it, this is really the seventh one we're going to be using in the last year. Uh, that's on four different uh, crews are using them. So they're lasting, I'm going to say, six months. It doesn't seem like a lot, but um, when you use it as much as we do, and we're talking about um, five days a week, um, maybe spraying a total, total time of maybe an hour to an hour and a half a day, um, that's, that's a decent amount. Uh, so these things do wear out. There are spare batteries that you can get for them. Uh, they take the, the Black & Decker batteries, so they're pretty common. We put um, one, one of these per truck, and we use an inverter that we plug into the cigarette lighter so that we can keep the batteries charged. Uh, doing this, uh, they last a full day, and we don't have to worry about running out. The only time there's an exception to that is if we have a big job where we're going to be spraying an acre or something like that. It may not quite last that long, and we'll, uh, we'll put a spare battery on the truck. And you can get spare batteries for these. They're relatively cheap. Um, I don't remember how much off the top of my head, but maybe thirty, forty dollars. Um, so, and then when the sprayers do go out uh, because of a problem with the diaphragm or a valve or whatever might be the problem, uh, you always have the batteries. The batteries will last longer than the sprayers. So then you have uh, spare batteries using that. Uh, hope that wasn't important. All right, so that's everything in the box. That wasn't important. We got spares of those. So here's the sprayer unit. Got the hose needs to be needs to be untangled, and the straps. The straps are thin, um, but they last. Uh, here, let's get this straightened out here. All right. You've got the straps that go over the shoulder, and then you can also put them around your waist. Uh, most guys don't, just because it's just too much work. Um, you just want to get it on, get it off. The top has the filter so you don't get contaminants in it. And your assembly and your everything diaphragm is down on the bottom. Um, where we've seen these leak is around here. Um, I haven't done any repairs on any of them myself, uh, but we do have a couple that are laying around that I am going to take a look at. Uh, we just need to get them cleaned out, uh, get our chemicals out. Uh, so the battery connects on the bottom, and let me get that. That's one of the things that fell. Like I said, not important. Black & Decker 20 volt battery, 1.5 amp. Just slides right into the bottom, and we'll click in when it's in. So power button right on the side, and this is nearly ready to go. We just got to get some of the other pieces that drop. Wand, uh, typical quality from Chapin. Uh, for the pump, the manual pump sprayers, I believe it's the same type. You've got your nozzles and a couple spare nozzles. And here is a charger that you can plug into either a wall or an inverter inside of a truck uh, or just in your shop. Most people are just going to have one of these, not as many as I do. Uh, so we've got the different sprays that put off the different, different patterns. We go with the gold one that's in here. It just seems to be sufficient for us. We're going to try this out. 
and we'll show you what the spray pattern is. You just got to get everything connected. Um, but like I said, these wands, not exactly straight to begin with. It's got a little bend to it already. Um, they will break easy if you're not careful with it. So just take care. All right. Uh, lid, the little exhaust valve in the top for pressure. Um, we're going to go ahead and fill this up with water. I'm going to connect everything up and I'm going to show you what out of the box how much how much how well it sprays. Uh, so just give give us a minute here. We'll get this all set up. Okay, here we have another clear spot on the floor. This is the uh, black tip nozzle. Uh, you can see right there it just uh, replaces the the uh, brass one that was on there, which is this one. So let's see uh, the pattern on this. It's going to be also round and it looks to be just a little bit smaller. Uh, so you got more of a, uh, a smaller diameter. Uh, other than that, it appears to work just fine. Let's go ahead and swap out the other one. The other one is a, a red tip and you have to actually take off two pieces here in order to get to that. So let's put this back on for a second. You've got to remove this piece out and the washer. And this goes, does not go in there. Well, we can try. There we go. All right. So we're going to go in the same spot right here. It's, I didn't put down too much liquid, so we're just going to spray this. And this gives you a flat line. This is a this is a pretty decent amount of spray. Uh, instead of the circular pattern, it just gives you that straight line. That puts out a lot of spray. Uh, it's probably the one that we're, we're using the most. I thought we were using the, the brass, but um, either one works. The, the one with the line is better for getting edges uh, on, on sidewalks or around houses so that you don't hit the house and you can just keep a line there with the round one. And kind of just spray a whole area so uh, they're all good um, they all work until until you have a problem so going back to uh, the unit and my review from what I know is over time these hoses will break you'll have punctures sometimes it's related to people getting them caught in uh, a gate um, a truck gate, a truck tailgate, a trailer gate. Um, we're just, once you compromise these by nicking them, it just makes them weaker. But we have blowouts in these all the time. And we end up just, if they're, if they're close to the edge, we'll cut it, we'll put it back on, and we'll keep using it. Um, you can see how the hose is reinforced, um, but they, they still have a decent, decent amount of problems. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, sometimes you can tell that it's it's not from user error because it, it actually blows out and you can see it's like has a, a, a bubble and then it eventually explodes putting chemical everywhere and I said earlier we also have leaks that come out of here um, you can take this off there's a couple little wires for the pump in there there isn't much to it we'll probably uh, do a repair on the on the couple that we have see if we can make one work uh, see what's causing these failures um, but generally even with the manual pump ones they they will also last six months but these are just much more efficient in the fact that you can you just spray it and you're not pumping it one of the problems I had with the manual pumps is, is you don't know how much pressure you have or how much is too much and I've had guys pump it to the point where the line explodes uh, and that's no good and when if you have to do a a yard that's an acre uh, takes a lot of a lot of strength to just keep pumping and pumping and pumping where this is, is just much more efficient um, 
even though they're twice as much as, as the manual pump ones, I'd rather have this. Uh, how long they last, it's very similar to the to the manual ones. Uh, though, need to go in and dig around and see if I can find out the failures on the other ones and, and repair those. It's still possible that may happen. Hello, everyone. Um, I cut off the previous video where we were we were talking about repairing some of these boxes and seeing uh, what we can do with them and wh what the failures were. Uh, so I wanted to stop right there. Uh, I spent some time uh, working with the, the ones I had uh, stashed away. I uh, found a couple of simple problems with them. Um, this is one of my older units. Uh, it's got no straps on it. Uh, people have taken it off for parts. Uh, but I went ahead, put it back together. Um, we found that this clamp that goes around the bottom if it's taken off and not put on exactly where it goes, um, even if it's off sl a slight slight bit up or down, it's going to leak. Um, so I went ahead, replaced some bolts on this because they didn't have the right ones on. One of the one of these clamps was blown out uh, where the bolt had or the nut had gone through the plastic. So we replaced it with a washer. Uh, another one wasn't just on tight enough. Um, but now we have a unit that only leaks from the top. Um, this particular one, um, the uh, gasket on the top needs replaced. It's kind of all mucked up. Um, but otherwise, uh, this unit works fine. Uh, went ahead, put the uh, battery in, uh, turn it on, and it sprays. Uh, you can see uh, everything here is it's working. All we got to do is turn it on and also. Um, it works uh, with the top off. Uh, this battery, there's no battery in it right now, uh, but this unit works fine, except for for this. One of the things about the other uh, pump handle one is that uh, you have to have this sealed perfectly uh, in order to build pressure. And uh, this, you just need to you just need to have liquid in it. Uh, this seal, I can probably uh, just order online. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, the only thing that's going to happen if that seal's not made is that it might leak on someone's back if they're uh, walking around with it and then it splashes. Otherwise, as ugly as this is, this does work fine. We just have to take some straps off of, a, off of an old pump handle one. And this is good to go. So I had three in the back and I went ahead and repaired three. So the four that I have plus the three that I repaired, uh, I've got seven of these now. Um, there really wasn't much wrong with it. It was guys uh, saying that there's something wrong with it. It was leaking, needed some minor repairs. Nobody wanted to touch them because of the chemicals that were in it. Get up, get the dye all over your hands. As you can see, it's all over the, this counter. Um, so they would just get set aside, and I would just order another one and then say, hey, I'm going to take care of this later. Well, later finally came, and I have a lot of working backpack sprayers, so hopefully I won't have to buy any for a while. So I know I said they were only working for about six months. Um, they're working for longer I started buying these uh, I'm gonna say 15 months ago and I except for one one is missing um, don't know what exactly happened to that one um, but the rest of them I still have and every single one of them works and that is 14 15 months later that is using them on an everyday basis uh, all the batteries work except for I have had one battery failure that came with it and I bought a spare battery by another company uh, off of Amazon and those are a two pack and one of them is dead and I bought it probably two months ago uh, so I would not recommend that uh, otherwise I'm gonna recommend this product it works well it's worked for a long time uh, there's no diaphragms inside this uh, to break they have to be replaced no seals um, except for the top seal but if you're familiar with the pump handled ones there's a lot of parts in it any one of them wears down it stops working uh, this it just has a motor and it takes electricity and as long as you s supply electricity to the motor and the motor hasn't failed it's good to go motor fails and you know you're onto another box I've yet to have one of the motors fail so I'm gonna give uh, two thumbs up and I'm gonna recommend this product uh, probably give it five stars except for the shipping you know that's not really the product but that's somebody sucks so anyway thanks for watching uh, please like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time Thank you.